okay, it's real. It's finally happened. The announcement's been made. This is probably the biggest announcement of my career. It's hard to imagine one that's going to top this, but yes, this is not clickbait. The rumors are true. I have been hired by Tello Trucks officially, and I thought today's video would be the perfect time to just lay everything out there and clarify where this channel stands and where I stand. So I'm all in favor of complete transparency, and so are they, by the way. They're all on board with this idea of me posting this last video because yes unfortunately i will be selling this channel to brian from future us <laughs> No, no, I'm kidding. Uh, nothing's changing. Basically, Tello Trucks reached out to me. I just want to make that very clear. I did not offer my services to them. I was perfectly fine just making more YouTube videos about them on my own channel, but they were very impressed with the couple videos I had made on them, and they wanted someone to kind of run their social media and be somewhat of a content guru, content specialist, content strategist. I don't know what you want to call it. I'm not like a chief or a head of anything. I'm technically an independent contractor for them. So I'm not a full-time employee. This is not like I'm moving away. I'm still living in the same place I lived before. I'll be doing a lot more road trips though down to the Bay Area where they're stationed out of and I'll be filming stuff. We'll be going to events and kind of representing them online, you could say. And I'm sure one of the first questions a lot of people may have is like, how is this going to affect this channel now that you're employed or working for another company and working for another brand? Does that mean Tello is technically sponsoring this channel or something? And no. I'm happy to confirm that long before I even signed a contract with them, I made it very clear from the beginning that I didn't want to change anything about the Telosive network and their existing YouTube channels. I wanted to ensure that I still had full control of everything I post over here, and I tried to ask them that 15 different ways just to make sure everything was abundantly clear, opposed from, you know, trade secrets and internal stuff that I'm not supposed to share anyway. Yes, I will not be changing anything about the way I run the Talos of channels. I can still say whatever I want about any company and they don't care. They just are mainly looking for someone who's passionate about their first vehicle, the Tello truck, and someone who's excited by it and wants to see it succeed. And basically someone who has some experience with running social medias and YouTube accounts that can kind of keep their community up to date with everything going on at their company. Because let me tell you, from everything we've talked about off the record, they are very, very diligent, and they are very hardworking. Any tiny little detail about that vehicle you ask or about the state of the company, they have a 15-paragraph essay worth of answers, and they are all hands on deck. There are multiple people at the company wearing several hats at once, and they are full focused on making sure that the design is efficient and safe and practical, and they don't really have someone on board with the time to film and edit and keep the community up to date with all the little details of what's going on, and they also need someone that they can quickly just say things to about you can share this you can't share that and I believe they saw kind of my content output on the Taylosive channels they saw how much content I was able to put out and of course I still have on this very channel the most viewed video on Tello trucks on YouTube so a lot of people were discovering Tello in fact multiple people that are now employed by Tello let me know after I met them in person that they actually found out about the company because of my video so when they were trying to decide what their content strategy was, they were like, well, everybody keeps discovering us because of Drew's channel. Why don't we just reach out to Drew and see what he thinks? So they kind of brought me in early on on the conversation on what this role is supposed to be. And they've given me so much freedom and flexibility to how we should run things. And I still have a lot to learn. I still feel completely out of my element. I've never really worked for a startup company. I've pretty much never really had a job in my life that wasn't, you know, working on a farm or making my own personal YouTube channel and there's a lot of things that I admit I'm not the best at and I want to get better at. So you're going to see that probably in the Tello videos. There's room for improvement and I'm all ears when it comes to criticism. I want as many opinions and impressions from you guys as possible. Any feedback is good feedback, particularly the critical kind. And at the end of the day, one thing that I want to echo and really nail down hard in this video is that I wouldn't have said yes to any brand. There is a lot of electric vehicle car companies out there that do things that I 
don't think are that important or I don't think are that good for the world or the market or the consumer. It was specifically Tello trucks that I felt like, for one, really needed help when it came to marketing and brand awareness and people that are able to sell more and more customers on the idea of why electric vehicles should be redesigned from the ground up because they're so fundamentally different from gas vehicles. So I'm passionate about the efficiency, which is a huge focus for them. They want to make the world's most efficient pickup truck, period. And I saw that they were in much needed help of marketing. You know, I could probably already imagine some of the comments were like, I thought Aptera would have hired you. I know I've said lots of positive things about Aptera and I still will. I'm still excited for them. I still have an order on one. And I talked about this with the CEO and the CFO of Tello yesterday. They're not trying to step on any toes. They are all in favor of me still being a fan of whatever companies excite me or interest me. And they're excited for Aptera too. They believe that efficiency focused vehicles are the future. But personally, after speaking to a lot of the executives and the head of marketing over at Aptera, they're doing a fantastic job, okay? They've signed a contract to get all of the production funding they need. Aptera has well over 47,000 paid reservations and they're closing their crowdfunding soon because they're not going to be needing as much anymore. They're doing great and I'm happy for them. I'm rooting for them and we will continue to do videos about Aptera on this channel and I hope to drive down to Carlsbad in the not too distant future to check out more PI builds. So again, nothing in regards to this channel is really changing other than the fact that I probably won't talk too much about Tello trucks on this channel. Not because they didn't ask me to. They said I can if I want, but it's purely just because it would be kind of redundant for me to make videos for the new Tello trucks YouTube channel and then report on the announcements that are made in those videos on this channel because it's just going to be me editing and filming videos on both. So it's not like a thing they were uncomfortable with. It's just a redundancy thing. If you want more Tello truck updates, go check us out on their YouTube channel because I'm going to be making the content there. Same thing on X and other social media platforms as well. So my hope is that you guys aren't scared away by this. I know it's a little weird and I wanted to clear the air on any confusion. No, there's no sponsored content here. I should probably acknowledge though that because there is a contract and there is payment now, I am probably biased towards Tello, but I hope that those of you who have been watching my channel for a while would acknowledge that I've been pretty consistent about what's important to me with EVs. I'm not against pickup trucks, I just don't like inefficiency. And the reason I'm so excited about Tello as a product and as a brand is that they're trying to focus on making a capable, practical pickup truck that still has a huge emphasis on efficiency, which is always something I've been passionate about, and they want to make it incredibly practical. So because I was interested in this brand, and I was really excited at the opportunity to actually help them and grow their social media presence, that was the reason I was up for doing it, because it aligned with the values that were important to me as an EV enthusiast and a content creator. But yes, technically now there is definitely a conflict of interest because in the future, if I check out, I don't know, another electric pickup truck, like if we go look at a Silverado EV or something, I will probably still say the same things I would have said anyway, even if my relationship with Tello doesn't continue forever, I would still say things like, yeah, this is great, but I wish it was smaller. I wish it was more compact and I wish it was more efficient. So now when I say things like that, I guess I do have to disclose I am biased because Tello is technically my client and I represent them online so I am incentivized basically to make them look good but at the end of the day my bias is aligned with the kinds of things that I've been consistent on I think on this channel in the past. So I hope I've covered everything in this video just to kind of clear the air on the relationship and how all of this is going to work but yeah over here I don't expect anything to change. We're still going to talk about Tesla news. I'm still going to complain about certain things other EV companies do and I'm also just just going to be posting content for Tello on Tello. So I made sure the new YouTube channel that I launched is right down there in the description for you guys to check out and stay up to date with everything going on over there. Thanks again to everybody supporting this channel directly. It seriously helps us out a ton, as does just watching these videos. So thanks again. Have an excellent rest of your day.